glad to have you join us on Core Digest today. We're looking at the alleged arms deal scandal, Dasuki on bail again. Dasuki has, is a former national security advisor that's under the Good Luck Jonathan administration and he's been in detention over an alleged $2.1 billion arms deal and has been in detention of the Department of State Services, DSS, since the 29th of December 2015. In time past, he's been granted bail, but he has not been released. Again now, the court has granted him bail in the sum of 200 million naira. Would he be released this time? Uh, that's part of what we'll be considering on the program today. And to critically look at this matter today, I have two legal practitioners in the studio. I have Samuel Adiola, a legal practitioner, and Okena Nebedum, also a legal practitioner. Good morning, gentlemen. Thanks for coming around. Good morning, Edmund. <coughs> Good morning, Nigerians. So, Samuel Dasuki has again been granted bail. Yes. Would he be released this time? Have, of course, if uh, the bail condition is met, I believe this time around, the hands of the government must be tied. So, uh, does it mean that it's because he could not meet his bail conditions in time past that he was not released? I don't know anything about his case. I'm not part of the legal team, so uh, you wouldn't have put in that question to me. But that which I'm saying right now that is uh, 200 million. Be bond and uh, other conditions attached to it. I believe if he made up, it should be like released. I said, the federal government hands are tied. All right, the courts rule that Dasuki's detention is illegal. Right, so okay, now. It couldn't have been anything more or less than that. The detention is truly illegal against the constitution of the federal government of Nigeria. You know, the receipt before. Justice Ojuku is on fundamental human rights violation. And the court also went ahead to declare that uh, it is not seeking forum and it is not an abuse of court process because the federal government uh, brought up a counter to consider it to be a uh, forum shopping kind of shopping kind of and to have the suit quashed. But the judge in in her ruling, which I consider very erudite say that this is not forum shopping when a matter gets to the point of violation of the constitution itself which is founded on the right of a citizen according to chapter 4 then the, 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 the court has the jurisdiction to hear the matter and they did hear the matter and she did uh, render that judgment no uh, on the issue of investigations even the federal government themselves admitted that investigation has concluded so why is they keeping him there are just reasons of uh, arms that we are recovered in South. There are just reasons uh, for uh, that he is a security risk. And the court also said that it's no security risk. If you need to do further investigation or if you need to have any matter that you want to verify from, you can invite him from his house and he gives you explanations to that. So I think the judge was right to say that the detention was. So unfortunately, to me, the judge. I can consider it to be appropriating and reprobating at the same time. How do you mean? Okay. If you say something is illegal, <coughs> and in the originating someone, it was stated there that they need damages, and you did not award any. It's to me, if it is truly illegal, which it was admitted, mm -hmm. right, by virtue of the provisions of the Constitution, the whole section that has to the right to freedom and right, you know, and FBI hearings, etc., at the six of test of five. Yes. To me, I believe at least to prove truly that, that the judge true. meant that truly the government has committed illegality, he ought to be compensated. And that is where the five billion naira asked for, supposed to, even if it is not five billion naira, in yeah. order to back up the fact that truly the action was illegal, he's supposed to at least award him, even if it is one naira, he shows truly the judge meant what he said, what she said. Okay, so that's the part of that judgment that you are uncomfortable Yes, yes, with. yes. Because if you say something is not supposed to be, to be then there must there be, be a remedy. Yeah, there should be a remedy. Sure. It's that like way. you said, somebody is guilty <clears throat> of a, a criminal offense, but you said you are releasing him. Not that you are putting him on suspended sentence, but you said you are releasing him. Then, if he's guilty, why will he get us that way? We need to tell the people that I'm guilty, but I was not. I was not in prison. You know, you get my quote now. So that's the area where I find very, you know, dicey. We, 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 we even I have not read the. I read. I read. I read. Uh, but I I not, read. Uh, the issue of damages is also another uh, very serious matter. I, I wouldn't know whether it was proved. I wouldn't know whether the the the, the judge aside had discretion in that award 
judiciously and judicially. But uh, what you said is very correct that um, she should have gone ahead. Yeah. To even if it is hundred thousand naira. Yeah, because but because I the evidence before her proved that the detention was, was illegal. illegal. All right. That was why we should pronounce <coughs> that it was illegal for him to have been. And the the, the filing the original demand was based on you know 1999 fundamental right acts, rights which acts, which definitely once it is examined and it was proved to be a violation of right that made this more because you must have impeded him from doing certain things that will bring something to his pocket as a businessman or as a free citizen that will you know his family must have been you know tortured one way or the other just emotional psychologically emotional, emotional. Why so wasn't keeping, why wasn't the father, keeping the breadwinner away from this you understand so enough. to me I, I believe the judge needed to have gone gone all the way to award that Can to that prove truly that it is truly illegal and that she meant that it was illegal for and me. that issue be revisited uh, well it depends on the it depends on the council no even the council the, even the council to the to the people can also can also appeal right. the, the side the, or that side of the judgment that right. is he, 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 that that's the way i see now there were different charges leveled against us okay at the beginning it was about 2.1 billion dollars um still and it was that was like um an opening for to different other issues we're talking about different names uh, political party go the funds and all of that in general how do you see the way that matter has been prosecuted 2.1 billion dollars arms deal um you see, what I see the federal government doing is a situation where they have their hands in so many pots and they are not perfecting what. Even though they can come up and say that even this application now for fundamental human rights is a disturbance on their the main suit. But if actually the federal government has all this evidence against you, why not move ahead with the matter and then get a judgment? Let's also even have a judgment that could be tried at the upper level. Rather than doing all the follow follow, or rather than have it um, look like somebody is under trial for three years without making any headway, the judge also mentioned in this particular case that a country that wants to, you know, the international committee to see that they are committed to rule of law can be behaving this way. It has our image on trial at the global stage, but having two point one billion naira suit, billion dollars, billion dollar suit <coughs> against him and for three years you've not made a headway he doesn't tell good about the judicial system I, I i want to believe one thing that if the section 396 if i'm correct or the 390 yeah that house tell the uh, 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 the power of uh, 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 you know stopping criminal matters why you are challenging one another yeah. it, 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 the case ought not to i think the problem with this case is that the case become a multifaceted cases. So as he's facing this, they took him from there, he's facing that, they come from there, he's facing that. You know, he, I think he has about four or five cases now. The, the federal government didn't do well. On, on his the own net. Team didn't I, do I well. just believe that the only thing they should have done is to harmonize the area of monetary corruption cases and that of the, the, so the, the, security, the, the security and arms, arms this thing. Yeah. And maybe he could have make it two on his neck. And then the cause it is it is a written law now that you cannot use uh, uh civil no uh, no not even there, there is none of the matter that is civil mm. but it is a written law that you cannot stop the proceeding of a criminal matter while you are challenging whatever yeah, that is, you are challenging the religion you are challenging whatever relating to that matter the matter will continue and your matter that you are challenging will also continue if you if your matter on the original court so succeeded so, so, and, and 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 you no, are no, jailed no, or what have you yeah. and the one you went to says no you are, don't have the right to answer to that call whatever may have been done by the original call is a nullity as it were except there is an appeal so i believe that i really don't know what because at one point in time even his lawyer also went to ECOWAS court so those are bottlenecks they themselves put on the cases at one point in time the lawyers also went to ECOWAS court and this and that i believe by now having gotten this i don't expect the government to play pranks or to play politics with it let him be relieved and if truly they are genuine to prosecute him on yeah, both the security and the recovery of the 2.1 billion naira as it were then let the case proceed 
and let the let it be adjudicated or at the same time let judgment be given from their evidences or whatever they might have against him the the jury will decide whether he's guilty or not rather than all these uh, uh, Akoponis of voices that we are hearing here and there every now and then about the Azuki uh, 2.1 billion US dollars. And is it still remain 2.1 billion? It's 2.1 billion dollars. Okay, what about those ones they charge Elisa Metu for? Uh, it's part of that 400 million naira for yeah. Elisa Metu. Okay, those are uh, the beneficiaries of that 2.1 billion. <coughs> My wife is the custodian of that 2.1 billion dollars. So they want to know how he expanded the and the beginning to share it as a cake to all actually also they also succeeded the federal government succeeded in this suit against Metro. It have also been an evidence exactly yeah that's okay. you not know, only the so, there are so others so as well all those, 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 all those uh, like who were told return the money like, yes uh, exactly yeah. like uh, the man jafar jafar returned his own mm -hmm. i think the man that claimed he was giving that amount of money for spiritual world of view he also returned return his own money. so he yeah. that that is enough if that yeah, is he, enough evidence to, should, should have by now secured a, a i'm conviction. telling you against yeah, him conviction yeah. against him is enough evidence so what is happening is it that the prosecution, the prosecution team, team isn't team. working well enough well, we have, or the defense team, the team is matter what is he i don't know whether they are comfortable also with the fact <clears> that the man is being harassed if i say so if i should use that perhaps word. perhaps because they just to, to me you mean the case is as good as settled? I if can you say can. you know that criminal matters are like mathematics, mm -hmm. very easy, not as as uh, as unwinding as civil matters. If if, if I if if I said he gave me money, I mean if if I, I they accuse him that uh, uh, two million naira was given to him, and he's being charged for it, and in the process they discover that I collected five hundred thousand. And I return over five hundred thousand naira that truly I collected. It's as good it's as, as he is good. It's now left for him to explain why he had to give the money to me instead of what he was. The money was uh, originally meant to be used. But just know what the burden of proof in Nigeria. Is. That, that, that we are giving like you the burden of proof. proof. The burden of proof. Like we've already given you. You burden of proof now. You don't prove like I said, ways. if it's two million naira, they accuse him of taking away, and that two million naira was meant for electricity. To be provided mm -hmm. in the community, and he gave me five hundred thousand to go and play football or watch football in uh, Russia in the name of whatever it is. And then when they accuse me of okay, you, I can see that you whatever. Like, okay, take this is five hundred thousand to lay gave it to me. There's no more body no proof now. And as much as yeah. that, I agree, he That's was the one that gave me the money. Proved. And they are accusing me of collecting two million naira instead of using it for electricity, you need for frivolity. So there's no more body no proof. So on whose side should we put the blame of the whole? Um, we don't. Uh, me personally, here, I don't yeah, know. You don't know. But well, because I'm not part of uh, the team. The team. So either for the prosecutor or or, or the the defender. Also, I don't know what is the problem. But I believe that seriously, such and such need not to be politicized. All right. Since that judgment was uh, made, the you know, people have raised concerns as to if there would actually be anyone who would conveniently you know, arise to actually give up this bond to secure Dasuke. Considering what is happening because in the case of Namde Khan, yeah, leader of the know, we said that uh, outside, outside uh, behind the scene the other time. <clears throat> you see, I believe that Sal Dasuke still has his own loyalists, still has his own family friends that believe in him, trust in him. You don't forget that Dasuke is a, is a, is a uh, I can call him a crown prince in uh, Sokoto state. So, it's not just uh, an ordinary, ordinary person like uh, even in Ambikan as it were. Even in Ambikan is even the crown prince as well. Yes, yes. <laughs> yeah. I want to tell you that Daski will have more than 10 people lined up. Who are willing to? Willing to fulfill those bail conditions. And I can tell you also authoritatively that it is not about fulfilling those bail conditions. Remember that uh, part of the bail condition is that it will be verified by the court. Mm. That verification is another serious, serious matter. matter. You understand? I pray so that the government will not, will, uh, not uh, will not interfere within that business. scope of verification. I, I, I really wish that the government lashes on this opportunity. Let him be granted bail. Let, so let, that the trial <laughs> would have an let, let us be sincere. Let the government be sincere on what he's doing. I to, to me, they are paying the Asuki back on what happened in nineteen eighty three, nineteen eighty three. It's not issue of the issue of arms Thank you very government. much, Osman for speaking to us. So Usman is also of that point of view that this is 
just a payback. Well, <laughs> as, as far as I'm concerned, this man will not be the one to determine that it is the court. He has been charged on the basis of $2.1 billion harm zeal. Let him now go there and prove whether the money that he gave to all those people are from the contribution they collected from... Uh, it wouldn't even get to that. You know, our, <laughs> our judicial system is uh, accusatorial. Uh -huh. You that alleges crime against... Uh -huh. that is no, you you must you prove, a prove, document yeah, prove, to show that there smartphone. was a movement of 2.1 billion that to is for the, federal the office government. of... Yes, yeah. now. That but not for that to say that there is uh -huh. money or... For no, the no, you and I said earlier on, you know, don't 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 lose that fact that you and I said earlier on. For those that have returned the money, might be used as a, a, a evidential, you know, proof to say, okay, if you say you didn't give money, but the people you gave have returned it now. I am I am copying from his man who says that the Jaffa Usa money was from not from the. Two point one billion dollar that was that that's These are these, these are arguments. The argument for, the for prosecution. exactly. So but for uh, me, as far as I'm concerned, the defense also has a way of yeah, proving that. Look, yeah. yes, money come from my NSA or from the my client or from the oh. defendant, but the money is not anywhere near yeah, because the NSA. government has not been able to prove right here now that yes. these are documents that transfer two point one billion dollar as arm deals. So on a good day. It is not for me, yes. it is not for him, it is not for his man to say it's that. And it is the government that will go there now and say, these are the documents, these are where the money was moved, and this is what they use it for, instead of what it was were meant to be used for. All right, and, and, and it is very possible that this is the case, and that is why the federal government is not moving on with the Okay, moving forward. If it is possible, proof, proof is if it is possible, is if it is possible, for them. if I'm not, if I'm not state from your own end, mm -hmm. then the case of Olisa Metu will have died a natural death. But you <laughs> know all those. True. But you know all those things are harassment. If it is true, no, which harassment? The case is going on. It was even Olisa Metu that is being theatrical now. If it, if it is true. He would have been able to go ahead and say, yeah, like he said, somebody from Moyo State. There is nobody from Moyo State. The man, the woman that was uh, uh, that was also charged as a result of that, he has another case going on for her, and he has already returned another six hundred and fifty million naira. That is uh, the daughter of Akijide. So there is nobody in Moyo State that said the yeah, that, that even even Palai that was accused of collecting hundred million naira returned the money. So moving forward now, moving moving forward yes. at this time, how do we continue? With the Dasuki case on one hand, and then the general anti-corruption fight, because this is one of the tripod on which this government is standing. It goes down to what we've been saying here: brandishing your citizens on the pages of newspapers and on, on, on the media wouldn't help a matter. You know where you do your battle inside the court: proof, evidence, conviction conviction that is all that just like in the case of daddy is and yes